New Technologies Company has been developing personal electric transport and rideable since 2014. Over the past 10 years, this brand has earned a reputation of a reliable manufacturer of electric scooters. However, today the brand wants to expand beyond the scooter market segment and is trying its luck in developing lightweight motorcycles and dirt bikes. Their latest creation is a light, dual-purpose e-motorcycle that is set to compete with the likes of Surron, Teleria, and Volcon. Named the XQI3, this electric two-wheeler is presented in two variations. One is suitable for riding on paved city streets, while the other is developed for tackling sandy off-road trails. Just like most city-oriented lightweight e-bikes, the street-legal version of XQI3 will come with side mirrors, turn indicators, a license plate holder, and most importantly, a speed limiter that will cripple your top speed capabilities at 28 miles per hour. It is worth noting that the off-road version will be extracting the full potential from the mid-mounted 6-kilowatt electric motor. This motor unit has an ultra-boost feature that pushes out 8 kilowatts of peak output and propels you to the top speed of 47 miles per hour. Regardless of the chosen variant, you're getting a 72-volt, 32-amp-hour battery pack with lithium-ion cells. The battery has a quick-swap feature and needs about 5 hours to restore its complete charge. You'll need to look for the charging outlet after every 50-mile trip. In order to give you a winning edge when riding on a dirt trail, the bike received a lightweight forged aluminum frame, an adjustable KKE suspension, front and rear disc brakes, and a set of 19-inch off-road tires. With this setup, the motorbike's weight does not exceed 168 pounds. The XQI3 dirt bike is set to make its debut in the first quarter of 2024. You'll be able to purchase with a white, purple, yellow, or black color scheme. This new electric vehicle packs some interesting specifications and exciting engineering solutions, but how does it compare to the other upcoming models, as well as those that are already available for purchase? Let's take a closer look. This year, V-Moto has announced a brand new lightweight motorcycle model that should make established manufacturers worried. Not only will this new model give more buying options for consumers, it'll likely put away some sales from market leaders. The new V-Moto bike will be offered in two modifications, as a trail-only off-R model and a road-legal on-R bike. The trail version weighs 176 pounds with the base 72-volt, 32-amp-hour battery pack, or 187 pounds if the upgraded 72-volt, 48-amp-hour unit is installed. With the base battery, you could travel for up to 42 miles, while the upgraded unit gives you 64 miles of riding. The model features a die-cast aluminum frame, an aluminum swing arm, and can boast a set of motocross-derived components, namely a high-travel suspension with a hydraulic damping system, SSBS brakes, and knobby tires. The bike has the seat height of 33 inches, while the ground clearance measures 10.6 inches. The performance comes courtesy of a 4-kilowatt electric motor with 8-kilowatt peak output capabilities. This motor unit grants you a 30-degree hill climbing capability and the 68-mile-per-hour top speed. Sir Ron, an electric dirt bike manufacturer known for selling good value for money products, is bringing a brand new offering for the 2023 model year. The upcoming Sir Ron Ultra B utilizes the brand's previous engineering achievements and introduces a variety of new and improved components. This middleweight off road model received a revamped electric powertrain that consists of a permanent magnet synchronous motor and a 74 volt, 55 amp hour lithium ion battery pack. The powertrain generates 12.5 kilowatts of peak output and 325 pound-feet of peak torque. It also has four standard power modes, Sport, Daily, Eco, Reverse, and offers the top speed of 56 miles per hour. This model will also be using an improved battery pack structure with better discharge capabilities. It could cover the range of 85 miles at the continuous speed of 25 miles per hour. Once depleted, the battery could be recharged in four hours with a proprietary charger that is hidden underneath the bike seat. Thanks to the reworked forged aluminum chassis, this model boasts the curb weight of 187 pounds, 
while the overall carrying capacity is estimated at 220 pounds. The list of other improvements and innovations that this model can boast includes a refined off-road traction control and energy regeneration systems, fully adjustable front and rear suspension with 9.4 inches of travel, 19-inch wire-spoked wheels, 240mm hydraulic disc brakes, and an LCD digital control dashboard. Soron Ultra B will start sales in the first quarter of 2023 in Europe and Canada, while the availability on the U.S. market is yet to be announced. When released one year ago, Teleria Sting looked like yet another Soron lookalike with comparative specifications, a slightly improved riding experience, but a higher price tag. This product did attract some interest from the EV community, but most riders were not ready to give up their Sorons just yet. Despite the moderate success of their first product, Teleria's management actively collected feedback from dirt bike riders in order to bring a more polished and competitive product to the market. This is how Teleria Sting R was born. The upcoming Sting R boasts a significant power boost thanks to a new IPM motor with improved thermal efficiency and a reworked gearbox that now handles 5.5 kilowatts of output. The noticeable power improvements were also matched with a higher capacity battery pack. The base model is equipped with a 60 volt, 45 amp hour battery pack that can be topped from 0 to 100% in 3 hours. The manufacturer suggests that you can ride for up to 75 miles with an average speed of 15 miles per hour. But considering that the bike's top speed is 52 miles per hour, most riders would deplete the battery at a much faster pace. The technical alterations did not only concern the powertrain components, since the model is now equipped with better front and rear suspension components, a stronger frame and swing arm, upgraded brakes with 230mm rotors and a four-level regen system, a chain that can withstand a power increase, and handlebars with improved ergonomics. When it comes to electric power sports niche, Soron remains one of the best value-for-money options. There are many uprising manufacturers that don't want to admit this fact and are working on bringing more options to the market to deal with Soron's domination. The F80 is a model that was specially designed to do just that. For the USA market, this model is offered in three modifications, street sport, dual sport, and off-road. However, the UK and European market only get dual sport and off-road versions. All versions are brought into motion by means of a chain-driven electric motor with 4 kilowatts of nominal, 8 kilowatts of peak output, and 191 pound-feet of torque. Considering the bike's weight, which is 176 pounds, this motor would be good for reaching the top speed of 52 miles per hour and climbing hills with a 40% slope. Depending on the chosen version, the bike will have a 72-volt battery with a 30, 32, or 48 amp-hour rating. This will be enough to cover distances up to 60 miles for the smallest battery and up to 90 miles for the largest capacity one. All batteries operate with the help of an oil cooling system, which improves the motor stability and lets quickly recharge the batteries. This process could take as little as 3 hours. Regardless of the chosen version, you get disc brakes, an adjustable suspension system, wire-spoked wheels, LED lights, and a digital control dashboard. After having gained popularity as a manufacturer of high-performance electric scooters, Solar Scooters decided to use their acquired expertise in a completely new vehicle class. This year, the brand has announced their expansion to the lightweight e-bike segment. Solar Eclipse is based on a lightweight carbon fiber frame which helped getting the overall bike weight to just 138 pounds. The bike's electrifying performance comes courtesy of a mid-mounted PMSM motor and a removable 72-volt 45-amp-hour battery pack. The peak motor output is clocked at 8 kilowatts, which is enough to propel you to speeds up to 60 miles per hour. The manufacturer estimates that rides would last for up to 60 miles between charges. However, the presence of a high-speed 10-amp charger would get you back on the road in about 3 hours. To make this model equally suited for on- and off-road challenges, Solar Scooters equipped it with a fully adjustable KKE suspension, motorbike-grade hydraulic brakes with a regen feature, 19-inch wire-spoked wheels, and an IP67 water resistance rating. 
Other standard bike features include built-in lights and turn indicators, full-color LCD display, and a remote locking system with an alarm. Mantis is a 150-pound electric dirt bike that was built to provide motocross-like performance and riding agility of a mountain bike. With a 7.5-kilowatt electric motor on board, this two-wheeler can generate 33 pound-feet of torque and sprint from 0 to 30 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds. Moreover, the zippy acceleration will only stop once the limited speed of 52 miles per hour is reached. The power to the motor comes courtesy of a 60-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack that is also swappable for your charging convenience. With this capacity, the motor could last for up to 81 miles of riding in the lowest power setting. Speaking of power settings, the powertrain has a tuned-down eco mode, a turbo mode for maximum performance, and a reverse mode in case you need to back out of a challenging trail situation. The standard equipment of the Mantis dirt bike also includes hydraulic disc brakes, an energy recovery system, a large LED control display, an adjustable suspension, and a maximum load capacity of 265 pounds. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time.